Hi guys. Good evening. Good evening. Can you guys see me? Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Good. Not too bad, not too bad. How's everybody doing? Pretty good? Very good, teacher. Okay. It's good. raining a lot here. Oh, it's raining a lot. You're right. You're absolutely right about that. It's raining a lot. Um, I know that, like, I, I actually had, just before the class started, I had some internet connection problems. Um, I wasn't, um, like, the, my internet all of a sudden went and it just returned. So I would expect that some other people might have problems too. Yeah. So how has your day been? Pretty good? Pretty good. I've been pretty busy. You've been pretty busy? Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry to hear that. Okay. Well, but, but busy in a way is good. It's good because um, it, it's good because um, what's it called? Um, time goes by really quickly, you know. So you don't you don't you don't feel it. So that's that's a good thing about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, how was your weekend, Andres? Okay, uh, everything okay. Everything was okay? Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, anything special that you did? Mm, sure. I was on San Salvador on Saturday. Oh. Uh, yesterday, I was in my house. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, all right. And did you do anything no, special? Anything else? Normal days. No? Okay. No teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. That's important. Okay, guys. Well, um, I'm going to take attendance. Um, so let's, um, let's start. Okay. So the first person on our list is not here, I guess, huh? Okay. So Ana Claudia, not here. Ana Claudia? No, right? Okay. All right. Andres? Present teacher. All right. Very good. Claudia. No, no Claudia. Okay, all right. What about Edgar? Edgar? No? Okay. Um and uh, Urban? Urban? Present teacher, okay. I, am, I am here. I have, I have a problem with the internet, but I am here. Good, okay, that's important. Okay. I, I understand, I had a problem too, so. Okay. Totally understand, okay. Okay. All right, um, good, Heidi? Present teacher. Good, okay, welcome. And Irene? Irene? No? Okay. What about Ivan? Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Ivan. Thanks. Okay. And um, Jose Montes? No? Jose Ayala? Sayala? 
No? Okay, Josue. Present teacher. All right. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome. Um, Jerry. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, welcome. And Luis. Luis. No, okay. All right, Natalia. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. And Ronald. Ronald? No, okay. Wendy? Wendy? No, Wendy? I can see she's connected, but I don't know. I can't see her face. It's raining hard here, teacher. <laughs> In town. I know. I, 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 I know that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, Maybe that is the reason why she's. Probably, yeah. Wendy? Where? Sorry again. Wendy? No? Okay. All right. I guess she's not here. Uh, Werner? Warner? Present teacher. Oh, okay. Present teacher. Welcome, Warner. And Yvonne. Present teacher. All right, welcome. Okay, guys. All right, well, I hope you all had a wonderful. Um... Present, and sorry to be late. <laughs> okay, um, I hope you guys had a wonderful, um, what's it called, uh, weekend. I hope everybody uh, was able to um, enjoy a little bit of their weekend. Present teacher, present. <laughs> present teacher. Okay, good, good. Okay. It is late. <laughs> okay, so we are going to start our class uh, with our PowerPoint. Please tell me if you can see it. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, all right. So today we're gonna to be looking at, hold on. Today we're gonna to be looking at the passive voice with the, oh yeah, hold on. Passive voice with the present perfect tense. Okay, and uh, your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. It's the intermediate two and it's class number 22. Okay, so let's start. Uh, first of all, uh, this conversation we saw last class. Do you guys remember this? Yes. Yeah? Okay, good. All right, um, so what we're gonna do right now is I'm going to get you guys to work in pairs. You're going to practice, uh, practice the conversation, okay? Um, and then you're going to be answering these questions, okay? So we'll put you guys into pairs. Let's, um, okay, so. Um, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna give you six minutes. One, to practice the conversation, and then two, to answer the questions that we have here. One, two, one, two, three. So first question is, who has worked on the office um, safety plan? Number two, who'll work on the plan to report hazards and incidents? And number three, what it is an area of the risk assessment process in which the managers haven't um, progressed much. Okay, so let's uh, open all the rooms. Here we go.
No. Ah, ah. Teacher. Ajá. Hi, teacher. Hello, girls. Eh, we weren't able to hear very well the instruction. Eh, what are we going to do right now? Let's read the conversation. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So let's read it, eh, Wendy. If you want to, if you want, ah, okay. We need to read that one. And uh, okay. Oh, okay. It's page 33. Okay. So let's start. If you want, I'm going to be Marcos and you are going to be Josue right now, and then we can switch. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me check if the lead, list of hazard and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Uh, now I will work, work on the plan for reporting has, hazard, hazard, hazard. hazard. An incident. Great. I work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I work. I work. Work on establishing. The incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. 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 That risk, sounds good. Risk, level. risk value and risk level. Uh -huh. Okay, that sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay. Now you are going to be Marcus. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me check if the list of hazard and safety measures is complete. Measure for electric shock for electric car. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the field draft of the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcus. Now I work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I work on some ideas, ideas, ideas. On, on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready ready by the end of the week. Okay, so let's take the, a look the to the- correct team. is hazard, hazard. Uh, sorry? Hazard. Okay. Hazard, hazard, ah, okay. Hazard. Okay, uh, who has worked on the office safety plan? Uh, you try to drive, drive uh, slowly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, and the right. It's so difficult when you drive in the when you drive and 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 and, and, and read the computer or the television. Yeah. So, this is so. This is so risk. Okay. This is so risk. High risk. High risk. Yes. For this, I attended the. Where did where you come? Uh, the Palacio de Deportes, in this. Okay, you work here? Yeah, I I got my house in. Uh, yeah, um. Scenario Marco said we haven't made much progress on that. Hello, teacher. Hi, are you guys finished? Yeah, teacher. Um, yeah. Oh. yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, that's the last one. Mm -hmm. I'll see you in the main room in, in a moment then. Okay, okay teacher. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi, teacher. Hello. Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, yes. we finished. 
Okay. We finished. Good, good, good. I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment then. Okay. Okay. Hi guys, are you finished? Uh, yeah, teacher, we finished. Good. I'll see you in the main room in a moment then. Okay. That was only answer the question. Okay, so everybody should be finished, right? Yes? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect, so let's discuss these questions then. First question is, who has planned on the office safety plan? Sorry, who has worked? Sorry, who has worked on the office safety plan? Marcos? Josue. 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 ¿Quién da más? Ochoa. Um, yes, Josue. Mm -hmm. That's right. Very good. And who will work on the plan to report hazards and incidents? Josue. Josue too. Also. Josue. Josue. Very Josue. Good. Yes. Uh -huh. And what is an area of risk assessment process in which the managers haven't uh, progress haven't progressed much? Uh, control and risk. The office safety yeah. plan. Control. Control. No, control and risk. risk. Ah, okay. Yes, controlling risk. Yeah, that's right. That's the answer. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, excellent. Any questions about that? No? Okay. All right, very, very good. Okay, so we're done with that part. Um, so uh, what I want to do right now is since we we're looking at this uh, at this um, exercise with uh, many vocabulary, new vocabulary words. We're going to be learning, making sure that we know all of that those vocabulary words. So, um, please tell me when you can see my PowerPoint again. You see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to be um, working in groups, small groups, okay? And what you're going to do is match these terms related to the training and personal development to their meanings, and then check with a classroom. So right now, we're going to be working in small groups and trying to figure out what are the name? What are the definitions of these words? We have risk, hazard, exposure, safety measure, irre irreversible damage, and precautionary. Uh, this is vocabulary that has to do with the exercise. Sorry, the the conversation that we just finished doing. Okay, um, so we're going to get you guys again to work in breakout rooms, but this time we're recreating um, the rooms to have three people in each room, okay? So, actually, I'm probably gonna have, um, 
the hmm. we'll have two or three two or three people in each room okay and we'll give you guys Mm, about eight minutes. Okay. So remember, it's this vocabulary here. Okay. All right. So here we go. Let's open up the rooms. I guess the first is a potential to be dangerous and to cause and harm. Yes, I agree with you. And then after hazard. Number one, let me sing. I don't understand. Hazard is... Um, what is hazard? Uh, unprotect, no. Do you guys have questions? No, for the moment, for me, no. No? No. No. Peligro. Hazard is like uh, dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, bueno, la consequence. Con Procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. Safety measure. Mm -hmm. Number four. Um, I think it's number four. Okay, likelihood for of arm in a specific circumstances. Oh. Mm. For uh, uh, could be a risk. Yeah, yeah, you are right. And the next mm -hmm. protect for something dangerous or unpleasant. I think it's exposure. Exposure or exposure, I don't know. Exposure, exposure. Potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. Hazard. Hazard, yeah. Number three, number four. Okay. What is the meaning of likelihood? Likelihood is probability. It's like a probability. Oh, I, I don't know okay. if it's a synonym or what do you think, teacher? That is correct. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. A probability. Mm -hmm. Like. Teacher, in the correct pronunciation of circumstances. 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 Y unpleasant. Unpleasant. Um, unpleasant. 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 
unpleasant. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And the first word in the second meaning, I met. Sorry? The first word in the second meaning. The first aimed. Aim. Yes, aim. Aim. Miss Jessica, about hazard. Uh, what is the difference between hazard and danger? Um, uh, warning. Mm -hmm. um, hazard, the hazard is um, something that is um, Hmm. How can I explain it? Like um, it's it's like it's um dangerous for your like health, basically. Yeah, Does that makes sense. So it's, it's like if something is hazardous, um, it means like it's almost like you can die because your health is at risk. Does that make sense? In electrical rooms is use uh, dangerous, but when you use um, material like, uh, I don't know, uh, when you are exposed to radiation could be a hazard. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it, yeah, it's, it's usually, um, yeah, it, it's usually something that it's, it's more, it's a danger that really puts you at risk. Like, um, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite, it's quite bad. Something that's hazard, hazard hazardous, it, it, it's very risky for your health basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yes, radiation. Yeah, I would definitely say that's a hazard. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anything else? I'll do you. Okay. Okay. And if so, it's all clear. You guys got yeah. you got them all? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'll see you guys in the main room then in a moment. Thank you, Ms. Jessica. You're welcome. Uh, so I think we got the, we got the correct order. Hi, teacher. Hi. Why are you guys always together? No, <laughs> no, we haven't been working since a long time, right? Really? Yeah. Yes, I work most with Irving and Andres. Oh, that's what I'm saying. You're you're always with Irving. Oh yes, I don't know. You put me in that. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. It was Zoom. <laughs> Your fault. Energy electric. Energy electric. That's it, pero. Estoy, no me fui. Pues, sí. Are you there? Eh, he was, uh, he had an incoming call and, and he told us just uh, to allow him a minute. But we already complete the, the, the match. Oh, okay. Perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll see you guys in the main room then. Okay. Okay.
Okay. All right, guys. So I'm hoping that um, everybody has finished. Am I correct? Yes, or do you yes. need time? No, teacher. No? Everybody's no. Okay, perfect. Good, because we're going to be checking. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Can you see it or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Okay, so let's go over this vocabulary and see if you guys understand it or not. Um, just give me a moment. Let's find a color that will look nice. Um, okay, I'll just choose this color. Okay, so let's go with the first one. Consequences of a consequence or damage that is so serious that it is impossible to undo. Irreversible damage. Okay, irreversible damage number five. Do you guys agree? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, Okay. Number next one. Um, aimed to protect someone or something from a hazardous situation. I think is number six precautionary. Yes. Number six. I agree. No, no. I disagree. Okay. What? Wait. What else? For me, it's the four safety measure. Okay. Yes, number four. Okay, so we have some people say number six and some people say number four. How about if we vote? How about if we vote? Okay. How many people say that it's number four? Put up your virtual hand if you believe that it's number four. Virtual hand, not your real hand, your virtual hand. So we have three people. Sorry, teacher, I didn't hear you very well because my internet is low. Oh, it's okay. Um, I was asking if you think it's, if the answer for this one is number four, put up your virtual hand. So at okay. the moment I have, get over it, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six people with their virtual hands up. Is that it? Only six people? <coughs> Excuse me. For number six or number four, you four, say? Four, four, for number oh, no. Okay, no. Oh, just like it's like it. Okay, hold on. Let me let me just make sure I have it correct. So we have three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven people that believe it's number four. And um, and okay, put your hands down, everybody. Hands down, hands down. Okay, hands down. All right, now who says number six? Put your hands up for number six. Three people. Okay. I don't found my house, Three teacher. People. Huh? Is it virtual? My hand. What is it? <laughs> you don't have a hand? <laughs> Not <true. laughs> Your virtual hand. Put up your virtual hand. I have four people and uh, Jose that is trying to put up his hand. That yes, was five trying. people. It's in the reaction. If you uh, look at the reaction, there, okay. No, 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 that's clapping. That's, you're just clapping. <laughs> Is the one low? <laughs> it's, uh, yes. He will be trying all of them. Yes, click, right. click, click, click. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Five, five and seven. So, I've, um, so I guess num number four is the winner because that has the most amount of 
um, votes. Okay. That is not the correct in the platform. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> answers. Okay. Okay. Like take it easy. Take it easy. Yeah, we say in English. You guys know the expression? How what we say in English? We say hold your horses. Have you ever heard of that? Hold your horses. Yes, hold your horses. Uh, oh. You ever heard of that expression? <laughs> no, first time. I hope to have horses in real life. <laughs> yeah, we Thank you. Say, you say. Hold your horses. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Como que, o sea, hey, no sé. Espere, espere. Got it. In Spanish, what does it mean? Don Ajolote. Exactly. Siéguense. 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 Dome su bestia. Dome su bestia. Ay, no. Bueno, por ahí va la, la cosa. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> ok. Ok, so anyways, yes. Um, so hold the horses. We're just, we're just checking what the majority of the people say. I will give okay. the answers in a moment and see if it's correct or not. Okay, okay. number three, or sorry, not number three, but the third, uh, the, um, the third description. <laughs> uh, pro procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. Number four. Six. Number six. <laughs> number six. Four. Oh, we, six. Have, we have another problem. <laughs> It's the same people will be the same yeah, people that exactly. Thing. That's what we don't need to say. vote. We don't need to. We vote. don't need to vote exactly. Uh, but exactly. the burning. <laughs> Release your horse. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be um, the dogs out. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. There is. It's just um. Do you guys know that? <laughs> You've never heard of that? Who let the dogs out? Unleash uh, yeah. the song or what? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that song. Yeah, exactly. The song. Ah. It's a very famous song. Who oh, let the dog? Uh -huh. ooh, right. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, right. Okay, good. Number four. Oh, sorry, no, not number four. The fourth definition likelihood of harm in specific circumstances. Number one. Number, number one. one. Number one is okay. No, no. All right. <laughs> okay. Unprotected from something dangerous or unpleasant. Number three. Number three. Number three. Okay. Number yes. three. Good. And potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. Number, Number two. two. Number two. Okay. Um, okay. Potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's check to see if you guys were right. Okay. So, according to what you think, irreversible damage is consequence or damage that is so serious that is impossible to undo. That is correct. Very good. So it's not possible to undo. Undo means to reverse, okay? To whatever you did to reverse the effect. That's, that's undo, okay? And so yes, that's why it's, it's irreversible. Undo or undo? Undo. It's undo or no. Undo. 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 Okay. Undo. Undo. Mm -hmm. yeah. undo. 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 Just like, just think of it like uh, do the verb do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so undo. it's undo, and the past of undo is undid, oh. because it comes from do. It's like in Spanish, this hacer. It mm -hmm. comes from hacer, right? So do. Mm -hmm. Okay, undo. Okay. Okay, the moment of truth. You say that a uh, safety measure is aimed to protect someone or something from a hazardous situation. Which sounds very which sounds very logical. However, 
it does sound more logical since it's a measure. A uh, measure is medida, right? Una medida. So a measure is very similar to the word procedure, right? So actually this would be number four, okay? Got it? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Now, so if this is number four, then we know that this one is not correct. So what, what would be the answer? Six. 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 Number six. Number six, that's right. Number six would be the correct answer. Okay. Okay, good. Let's go on to the next part. Um, so according to what you guys think, a risk is a likelihood of harm in specific circumstances. And somebody was asking, what is the word of likelihood? Likelihood is a probability, okay? Or a possibility. So this is correct, okay? If you have a risk, uh, we're, we're talking about a specific circumstance, not just risks in general. We're talking about specific circumstance, right? To give an example, if you have an investment, if you're making an investment, you have a risk, a risk of losing money, right? That's your risk, right? Or if you're gonna have an operation, you have a risk, where right? You have risks of, um, you know, something seriously, a serious happening during the, the, the operation, right? Maybe you have bleeding um, and in very, very extreme cases, you can die, right? Um, okay, and then we have, uh, according to what you guys said, exposure is unprotected from something dangerous or unpleasant. This is correct. For example, if you, were uh, with somebody um, and you were not wearing your mask and you know two or three days later you find out that person is um, is sick with COVID then you have had um, exposure to COVID because you were unprotected you didn't have your mask okay so that's correct and you guys say that a hazard is a potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. And that is correct. Okay, so this is um, something that can be very serious. A hazard can be so serious that it causes harm, such as it can even be like, um, for example, your life. Maybe it costs your life. So it's, it's so risky that it can cause your life or it can cause you to lose your life, better said. Does that make sense for everybody? Yeah? Yes. Any questions so far? No? No questions? No. Okay. All right, in that case, let's uh, clear the board. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do at this point right now, actually, oh, no, no, we still have a few minutes left. So what we're gonna do is start with this, these questions we have here. We're gonna um, uh, practice the conversation, but first let's discuss these questions. Are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? What would a safety program prevent accident? Sorry, would a safety program prevent accidents? And what type of rules do you think a safety plan has? Do we understand this, vocab this vocabulary and these questions? Yeah. 
Yes? No? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Okay, good. So we are going to go back to the same groups that we had before, um, you know, about three people or two people in each group, and we're going to be discussing these questions. Okay, um, I'll give you mm, about five minutes. I don't think you need to have too, too much time. Okay, so let's begin with that. Um, let's open. Teacher, what are we going to do? Mercat could lose brainstorm. Uh, no, you have to. Um, give me a moment. I lose the connection. That's why I don't know what. Uh, what are we going to do? Okay. Um, let me... I guess it is it, it is a conversation. No, you are discussing these questions that we have here, the top. Are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? Would a safety program prevent um, prevent accidents? And oops, and what type of rules do you think a safety plan has? Okay. This is the page 35. Yeah, that is correct. Okay. Okay. All right. 35. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's here. Uh, no, so the questions, we're looking at the questions. Yes. At the top. What I think is you're you looking for? Um, at the top. The safety goggles. At the top. No, at the top, 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 top. Top. There you go. Those Provide are. safe measure to control risk or are manufacturing plants a dangerous place to work? Hey. And yes. are manufacturing plant dangerous places to work? Yes, it's dangerous, really dangerous. Very dangerous. I, but I remember when I was working in a plant, I have never seen something that like this. At the manu in a, ma in a manufacturing plant, they have a calendar. How many days they count? How many days? Days they don't have an accident. Yes. Will a safe program prevent accident? Uh, yes. Yes. What type of rules do you think our safe plan has? One of them is uh, always use helmet and rubber boots and about the, the manufacturing yeah because your workplace is not the same uh, no, it's, it's, workplace. it's different because we have um, uh, um, 
radiation generator and uh, electrical room in is is different. I think uh, that you, Miss Jessica uh, Montacargas, is left truck or is another word to... the other way? Fork left. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh... Okay, we don't use. Uh, Want to write it in the chat? Yeah, please, please. Okay. I'll write it in the chat. We, we in our company we don't have um, that kind of machine, but we have an, another oh, rule please. for reduce risk. Uh, it's an operational area. Okay. Uh, for example, in my case, uh, some rules are uh, and they're not allowed to run in the production floor. Jacket, rubber bots, earplugs, earplugs, store tool, in proper location. So my Googles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan have been designed to prohibit skytower to outside the tall room skytower. Okay. Um, are you guys finished? No, teacher. No, teacher. Huh? Remember, you're just discussing those three questions that I don't, I'm not sure if you are there. Right. I is not practice the conversation. No. Okay. Ah, it's only the first, the first, oh, one, okay. first questions. <laughs> okay, teacher, oh, but <laughs> don't finish. <laughs> <laughs> Please no. wait for us. <laughs> we don't okay. start right now. <laughs> okay. Fine. Okay. Okay. Number one. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start now. Are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? For grow and prevent accidents. For me, for me, it is necessary. Necessary. It's necessary. Yes, so necessary. All the all the company have to do it. The uh, the prevent accidents. You can you can have an accident, for example, with the electrical system. Mm -hmm. You have to you can you can you can get the the fire with electrical system. With your computer, you have a. Porque están callados. We have just done, we have just finished. Oh, okay. So you are finished. Yeah. Right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Warner is there too? Yes, yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Um, guys, I'm just checking. Um, nobody lives in Ilopango, do you? Nobody? No, not to charge me, no. Okay. 
I just uh, I was looking at uh, some news that um, there's this bus that um, you know got carried off into the like um, the flow of the of the um, flood and just like last time you guys I don't remember I don't know if you guys remember there was this um, accident with this um, this bus some boys huh with with some students. No. No. Do you remember about like um wow like it was from a church, right? Uh-huh. The Alim Church. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Like about 15 years mm -hmm. ago? Mm -hmm. Oh yes. That um yes. the the bus got carried in ah, La Malaga. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm, in, the, yeah. in this moment is the similar yes. case. Where? Yes. Where? Oh really. Pango, yeah. It, wow. In the same place where it was the no. previous one? No. No, 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 no. But apparently, um, apparently they were saved, right? That that's the that's mm -hmm. the good thing. Yeah. But yeah. Santa Lucia y Lopango. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So. Because there was a carcaba there. There a is a carcaba. Carcaba. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And it's a hole, a huge hole. <laughs> I don't know what is in English. Is it, is it the but house? In Spanish is a car. Oh, yes. Mm. It's the houses. So it was a strong rainy in my home. Yes. That was a strong rainy. Right now, no. Yeah, I know. Right now, my area too was really strong. Yeah, very strong. In Santana too. Yes. Yeah. There, it, you. Um, who was asking about the Karkova? I don't know. Uh, ah, Natalia. <laughs> oh, Natalia. Okay, okay. <laughs> In English, I don't know how to say Karkova, but you say you hope. You say ravine. 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 Be Can home. you write it in the chat? Just yeah. Writing. A ravine. A ravine is like um. Like an underground, an underground, like uh, what's it called? Uh, like river. Like no, no, not river. It's not because it's not. It's not big. It's a. It's like a stream, like an underground stream. That's a, a ravine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you guys know what a stream is, right? Oh no, stream. No. No. Stream. Stream. Like, uh, no. Stream video or. Video? No, 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 mm. no. A stream is un arroyo. But it's not a creek. Uh, yeah, similar to a creek. Yeah. Yeah. So. S T R E. How do you write this? What? Stream. Stream. I stream? wrote it in the chat. Oh, okay. I, okay. Uh, so, hey, that was the name of my previous company. <laughs> is the same the streaming teacher is similar streaming? No. no, no, streaming is something else. A stream, a stream is un arroyo. Okay, so um, so a ravine is similar to a stream. Um, ravines are usually underground. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. So that's, that's why it's a carcara, a ravine. Yeah. But I'm looking for that news that you mentioned, and uh, the only one that I found is the four workers, they fall down okay. from a construction. That uh, is the only... Uh, uh, hold on. Let me share. Hold on. I'll share it to the group so that you guys can see oh, okay. later, right? Like not right yes, now. Yes, later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, don't worry, later. <laughs> later, later. <laughs> but our curiosity is so high. <laughs> 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 Got it. Ah, <laughs> 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 
Okay. I was anyway. Looking. Yeah. So anyways, guys, I'm going to, we're going to continue here. Um, so now that you have discussed these questions, um, okay. So now that you have discussed these questions, okay, let's uh, share with the class. So what items is Joel looking for? No, sorry, that's not the question. Who is Joy? <laughs> Are manufacturing plants dangerous plant places to work? What are you guys saying? Are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? In your opinion? Yes, it is. Yeah? It is. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Would a safety program prevent accidents? Yes. It's yes. very, very important. Yes. Everybody thinks a safety program would prevent accidents? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What type of rules do you think a safety plan has? What kind of rules? Uh, a procedure to have to handle or use some some tools of the works or or materials. Okay, using some tools or materials. From, okay, what else? Light, light. Hmm? The light. The light. Okay. Anything else? Okay. All right. Um, all right. I'm going to, before we continue reading the conversation, I need to take attendance. So let's take that first. Give me a moment. Okay. Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Great. Okay. Andres? Present teacher. Great. Excellent. Uh oh, I don't know what I just did right now. Okay, now now we're back. All right, uh, Claudia, Claudia, no, Edgar, Edgar, no, okay. Irvin. Irvin? No? Okay. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Irene? Irene? No, okay. Uh, Ivan? Present teacher. Great. Jose Ayala? Present teacher. Great. Jose Montes. All right. Okay. Josue. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Jerry. Present teacher. Okay. Luis. Luis. Okay. Natalia. Present teacher. Okay. Ronald. Uh, Wendy. Present. Okay. Warner. Warner. Okay. Uh, Yvonne. Present. Good. All right. Excellent. Okay. We're going to move on. So what we're going to do is practice this conversation. Please tell me if you can see it. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So we're going to read the conversation. 
between employees at a manufacturing plant. They are talking about the new company's safety measure plan. So as usual, I'm going to say the, the, the words and you can go ahead, open up your microphone and repeat after me. G. 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 Have my safety goggles G. been stolen? Have my, my safety, safety goggles been stolen? Being stolen? I don't see them anywhere. I don't I see don't them anywhere. 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 Your goggles have been taken away. Your goggles, Your goggles have been taken away. taken away. There are new safety measures. There are new, there are new safety, safety measures. measures in the plant. In, in the, the plant. plant. In the plant. In the plant. You've got to be kidding. You've, You've got, got to be kidding. Be kidding. Be kidding. What are those measures about? What are those measures about? You are required. You are required. required. To wear your protection. To wear, to wear, 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 wear protection. Gloves. 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 Reflective vest. Reflective vest. Protection belt. Protection belt. Protection belt. Helmet. 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 Jacket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Ear plugs. Ear plugs. Ear plugs. Ear plugs. Ear plugs. Store tools. Store, Store tools. tools. In proper location. In proper location. location. So my goggles. So my goggles. goggles. And the other tools. And the, and the other, other tools. tools. I left around here. I left, I left around, around here. here. Have been taken away. Have been taken away. away. Yes. 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 The new safety plan. The new safety, safety plan. plan. Has been designed. Has been designed. Has been designed. To prohibit, to prohibit, to prohibit, to prohibit scattered tools, scattered tools, tools, tools outside the tool room. Outside, outside the, the, the tool room. room. All right, very good. Don't All confuse right. this word with Google. This is not Google. This is a goggle. Goggles. Wow. Okay. Um, Google has two O's. And this one has two G's. Uh -huh. Okay, so don't confuse it. It's not Google, it's Google. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what's the meaning, but I guess we're going to. Okay, yes, okay. yes, very good. And speaking about meanings, let's discuss what words you do not understand from all of this conversation. So once again, you can put it, the words in the chat.
Bien. Got it? Okay, no problem. All right, sounds good. We're gonna be checking the answers. Um, all right, so we have the first one, measures. Measures um, are like steps that you have to take. Um, plans or like steps or plans that you take, okay? In Spanish, we say, medidas right so but we're not talking about medidas that like um so like for example we're going to take a ruler no that's not the type of medidas we're talking about the like um steps that you need to take out uh, like a plan that you need to make so in this case safety measures son eh, medidas de seguridad okay a uh, reflective vest, okay. Well, to be able to understand what a, what a reflective vest is, we need to be able to understand what is a vest. So a vest is kind of, it's this, um, it's like a piece of clothing similar to a jacket um, where you, um, the person, it kind of looks like this. I'm a bad drawer, okay, but I'm gonna try to draw as best I can. All right, so here is our, uh, a vest. Um, you put you put mm -hmm. on a vest, and usually it may have like a zipper or maybe like buttons here. Okay, yeah. And um, so a reflective vest are one of those vests that um, is used for. Um, seeing people at night, right? So they kind of, they kind of look like this, right? So it's very easy for somebody to be able to see the person at night, even if it's at night, but they're still able to see them because when, um, when the lights from like a car, for example, hits the vest, it reflects the light so that the person can see the, the vest easily and they know, ah, there's a person there. So reflective vest is important, for example, if you're driving at night in a motor, on a motorcycle or on a bicycle, right? Or, you know, or not even at night, because, but what if like, uh, for example, if maybe it's a, it's a, very rainy day like today you know even if it's during the day because it's so dark um you may not see the person very well so that that's why people um that uh, that um spend a lot of time on the street they wear reflective vests so that they don't get hit by another car does that make sense what a reflective vest is Yeah, your draw is perfect to understand, so don't worry. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm, I'm, I'm a horrible drawer, but I'm uh, at least I think you got the the idea. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go on to the next one. Rubber boots. Okay, I have a feeling that the problem here is not the word boots, but the word rubber. Yes. Am I correct? Everybody yeah. knows what a boot is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yes. So, okay, so rubber boots. Uh, rub rubber is the type of material that is used for the boot. Um, so um, boots can be made of leather, for example, especially if you want to have something very stylish or, you know, like you're in, or it's like a Western kind of boot, like a cowboy boot, right? Then it's made out of leather. But if you want to have a boot that is um, um, waterproof, 
so that you use it for the rain and it doesn't get wet. You use rubber boot. Okay, so the rubber is like a, it's a material. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I have rubber around here. My, but anyways, it's this material kind of that is like, um, it, it bounces. It bounces. Um, it's like the material that you have like for elastic bands. Mm, do we have like a tree here in El Salvador? That... A tree? I guess you're referring to ule. Hay un árbol de ule, así se le llama. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'll take your... Palo de ule, cabrón. I'll take your word for it because I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, but, but that is the word, ule, rubber. Uh, yes, exactly. Uh, okay, okay. So, so that, so that, like I said, in, on a rainy day, for example, that your feet don't get wet. Right? So they're very good for rainy weather, rubber boots. Okay, goggles, and remember, they're goggles, not googles. Goggles are these like special glasses that you wear, like usually plastic glasses that protect your eyes. So they're not glasses for looking better. They are glasses that help you protect your eyes. Those are goggles. Um, or for example, swimmers. Swimmers use goggles, right? They put these things right here, right? Like that. And that protects their eyes when they are under the water. Okay. Do we understand goggles? Yes, no? Yes. Yes. Good. All right. And then we have the word scattered. Scattered means to um, not have in a, all together in a specific place, but kind of rather have them in different areas all over the place. Okay, so um, they are not, the, there are many things that are not together, but everywhere. So instead of putting them all together, you have them some here, some there, some there, that's scattered. Okay. Do we understand the word scatter? No, teacher. Okay, think about a teenager's room a bedroom for a teenager. Right. Uh, it's a mess. It's a total mess. <laughs> Think about what, <laughs> what, 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 they, what do they do with their clothes? They, put on, they probably put on their clothes, take it off, and then throw it here, throw another one there, <laughs> throw it there, throw it there. So it's any scattered. place, any place yeah. but the wardrobe, no. Exactly. So ah. wherever, wherever it, it is, that, that's scattered. So some here, some there, some there, everywhere. Okay. How do you say that in Spanish? Disperso, tirado en todos lados. Ajá, disperso. I'm thinking of the word regado. Ah, regado. Está regado por todos lados, right? That's scattered. Okay. Okay, good. Now let's go for voca for the pronunciation. Please share in the chat any words that. So any words that you're not sure what they mean? I'm oh, sorry, what they, how to pronounce that? Anything else? You sure? That's it, really? Okay, well, it sounds like 
That's it. That's the only word. Okay, so this word is you pronounce as scattered. 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 It's very different from the word scared. Scatter. Scared. Okay. So scared. This is scared, right? This word here is scared. But that's very different from the word scattered. Scattered or scattered. Scattered is British. Scattered. Scattered. Or um, scattered, scattered, same thing, depends where you're from. Okay, okay. thanks teacher. You're welcome. Okay, sounds good everybody? Okay, all right, so this time what we're gonna do, I'm going to be assigning you a partner. Okay, so now we're not gonna be working in in groups, we're gonna be working with a partner. You're gonna be practicing the conversation, but don't just practice the conversation. The idea with this is also that we're going to be discussing the these three questions. White items is Joe looking for? What is the new safety measure about? And in your opinion, why should tools not be scattered in the production plant? Okay, so right now I'm going to create the groups. Remember, we're going to be working um, to be two people in each group. Okay, so just give me a moment. Okay, and we're going to give you guys. About seven minutes, okay? Here we go. El micrófono. Oh. My internet is very low. Okay. You guys know what to do? What? I want to practice the conversation. That is correct. Okay, let me. I go first, uh, G, have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You go to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, ear plugs, start tools in proper location. So my goggles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit, prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room. Okay. Werner, do you want to practice? Okay, I start. I just. If you have my safety and gold being stolen, I don't see it 
then answer. Can you call it? Uh, maybe yes. Where do you require to wear a protection gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket to the box? Air pills, startles in proper location. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, why should tools not be scattered in the production plants? In your opinion, mm -hmm. in my opinion, because someone could fall or hurt, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, what do you think? Maybe. But this is current, it's cut red. Go uh, ahead, sir. They are required Air to protection, use gloves, gloves reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, earplugs. And the store tools in proper location. <laughs> okay. Teacher, would you please repeat the pronunciation of go is goggles? Goggles? Goggles. 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 It's similar to Google. <laughs> yeah, but it's... remember goo, goo, that's the, the sound the, oh, okay. the sound of the of the vowel is ooh, right? Ooh. Oh. Google. Google. Ah. Goggles and Google. Yeah. Go so you say goggles. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, it's goggles. 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 Glass is goggles. It's like goggles. Goggles. No, uh, no goggles. Ana Claudia. Uh -huh. Remember, it's not glu glu glu. It was in that video. Glu glu glu. So it's goggles. Yes. Goggles. Yeah. Qué difícil esa palabra, nunca había visto. Goggles. Go. Eh, goggles. goggles. Como casi o-e, o-a. Go, ah, ah, ah. The vowel sign is ah, ah. Goggles. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, can you repeat the pronunciation for sc scattered? Scattered. Scattered. Scatter, 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 okay, Scatter. thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, what is the new, ah, no, sí, a ver, uh, in your okay. opinion, why should tools not be scattered? In the production plant? I think it's necessary to to sort all the protection that Diego uh, said, like uh, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, and sometimes it's necessary to sort earplugs. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yes. Yes, I think that uh, and why should you not be scared on the production plan? Mm. Oh, what, what not, why should not? Yes, you know the tidy. Yes, all, we have to be tidy. Yes, all the things have to be tidy for the uh, about the company. The manufacturer, all the company had to be the tidy, tidy all the thing. Do you remember when you visited selectors? Yes. Okay. 
all the things, the energy thing, the safety thing, are in one place, in one, in one place in super selectors, behind the cushion. Yeah? Um, repeat, all the thing, what? All the in safety in the selectors had been behind the cashier. Ah, okay, the cashier. Behind the cashier, behind the cashier. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. All the things are tidy. Tidy, tidy. Mm -hmm. How pronounce? Tidy. Tidy, tidy, tidy. Yes, tidy. Yes, I saw that. I have been so that. Yes. <clears throat> okay. At what time will you go at the work tomorrow? At what, what time? time will you go at the work tomorrow? I have to work at 10 a.m. Today? Yeah. Today at 10. Hello, Andres. Hello, teacher. Were you uh, working with somebody? Yes, with Werner and Ivan, but I have problems with my internet. Okay, no worries. Anyways, I'm gonna close the rooms right now, so. Okay. So I'm just letting you know so that you don't get scared. Everybody's going to come right now. Okay, teacher. Listen. Todavía falta Ivan. No, Ivan. Tenía, mi uso horario estaba malo, tenía la hora. Ah, sí, cómo. <laughs> Oiganlo. Sí, cabal. Okay, all right, so we're going to check answers, guys. So what do you guys think? What items is Joe looking for? Hmm? What items is Joe looking for? Goggles. 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 No. Glasses. Goggles. 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 Not Google. Goggles. Go. No, it's not goggles. It's goggles. 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 Good. Excellent. And what is the new safety measure about? The store tools in proper location. Yeah, pretty much that's it, yeah. So everything, all of your, your equipment you have to store in the proper location, that's right. So in your opinion, why should tools not be scattered in the production plant? Any tools? Yeah, tools in general. Why shouldn't they be scattered? Because you can lose your tools. Right, okay, so you can lose it. What else? What's another reason? To avoid accidents. To prevent accident or a damage. Good. To prevent the accidents or damages. What else? What's another reason? Why don't we want to have, uh, what's it called, any tools around the, the production plant? To prevent losses. Right, to prevent losses. What else? Okay. 
and also I think um, um, it's a matter of also space, right? Because the more tools that are scattered around, the less space there is in the production plant. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, excellent. All right, very good guys. Now, um, in this conversation, you probably noticed that um, we, were, we were concentrating a lot on the action of what happened to the tools more than we concentrated on, on who did it. So for example, um, we have Joel saying, no, for example, Diego saying, your goggles have been taken away. Now, who took away the goggles? Who, can, who did that? Uh, I guess a supervisor. Or... Oh, the person that, that is in charge of mm. that kind procedure? Could be, could mm. be. But that's just an assumption. Because according to the sentence, who did it? According to the sentence of your goggles have been taken away, who did the action? Maybe Joel. Look at the sentence, just, just the sentence. Who did it? Joel. No. This is a trick question. Mm -hmm. Nice. Do you, you guys understand trick questions? Mm -hmm. Pregunta capciosa? So who, who took away Diego. the... Sorry? Diego. Mm. Diego was trying to find them. Mm, yes, Diego. Yes, sounds like Diego. Did you? The actual answer, remember when I told you, this is a trick question. The answer is, we don't know. Mm. We simply mm -hmm. don't know. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we're not concentrating on who did the action. We're concentrating on the actual action itself. Okay, what happened? We're concentrating on what happened and not who did it. The passive voice, I hear that. <laughs> exactly. Oh my God. Very good. Very that was good. a topic that I wish. <laughs> no, 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 don't really. Yeah. It's like, Super easy, trust mm. me, okay? Okay. So, yes, we are concentrating, on, and Jose is laughing because he's like, yeah, right. When you, when you say, trust me. <laughs> oh, you don't trust me. <laughs> no, no. Oh, yes, teacher, I'm trust. <laughs> you trust me, you just, you're, you're, you're just saying, I don't know if the others trust you. <laughs> okay, no, but, no, really, but, um, here, you just have to understand why we use the passive. And the passive is used when we're not concentrating on the, um, on the person that does the action, but instead we're concentrating on the action itself. Why? Because sometimes the action is more important. Sometimes we don't know who did the action and we really don't care. That's not important for us to know who did the action. Sometimes we avoid talking about who does the action because it's so obvious. So we don't really need to say it, okay? So that's what we're gonna be talking about in today's class. Um, please tell me when you can see the PowerPoint. We see it. Okay, good. So I'm going to need volunteers to help me read. This is about the passive voice, but specifically with the present perfect tense. 
And I need someone to help me read this first paragraph, sorry, uh, sentence right here. Who can help me? Come on, guys, just read. I can help you. <laughs> okay. Okay, perfect. Um, Jose, go for it. The first sentence. Okay. The passive voice is used when you the emphasis of the sentence is on the action and not on the subject. Your Googles, your goggles have been taken away in contrast to they have been taking your goggles away. In sentence one, the person who took away the goggles is not important. The fact that they were taken away is instant emphasizing. Very good. Very good. Instead, instead emphasize. Very good. Exactly. So what I was mentioning before, right? Um, normally, we start by saying who does the action the, and the who does the action is the subject, right? So normally we start with they. They have taken your goggles away, but they is not very specific. So normally we say your goggles have been taken away. Now, who took your goggles? We really don't care. Why? Because that is not important. What's important is the actual fact that the Google, sorry, now, now I'm saying it, that the goggles have been taken away. The goggles are not there anymore. And that's what's important. Not who took them away. Maybe I took them away. Maybe it was, um, it was you who did it. Maybe it was my twin sister. It doesn't really matter. What's most important is the action of taking away the goggles. Is that pretty clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay. All right. Now I need somebody to help me read the second part with the with the sentences as examples. Who can help me? No, no se peleen, por favor. Me, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Go for it, Andres. Passive voice statements. Object plus have has been plus verb plus participle form. 2A. Have my safety goggles been stolen? In contrast to to be, have they stolen my safety goggles? The question focuses on the safety goggles not in the person who stole them. Passive boy question have has plus object plus being plus verb plus participle form. Good, thank you very much. So in this one, um, okay. So this is actually, this was corresponding to there. I'm sorry about that. This was um, the structure that we usually use for regular statements. But then here we have questions. So when we're, uh, when we're asking a question, we're not focusing really on who, who did the action. We're focusing more on the object that received the action. In this case, the object that receives the action is the safety goggles. We care about the safety goggles. Um, so now it, it's not so much that it's not important, but it's just simply that who stole them? You can't say who stole them because you don't know who stole it, right? It's like, you know, that's very difficult to know. So instead, we're not emphasizing who did the action, but instead the action that was done, which was stealing, right? The action of stealing was more important. So that is why we, instead of saying, have they stole my safety goggles, where you have the auxiliary have the subject and then the past participle, we do it kind of like an opposite way. Um, so we have um, have or has plus the object plus been and then the verb in the past participle form, okay? 
So those are the two um, structure. In the sub in the statements, we put the object first. When I say the object, it's the object that receives the action. In this case, the goggles are the receiving the action of taking away, right? Then we have you use have or has depending on what the subject is, right? The subject is uh, they, sorry, you, uh, we, they, then uh, or I. We're going to be using have, okay? But if it's this object is um, he, she, it, we're going to be using has. And then we always use been and a past participle, okay? Sounds good. Yes. Questions? Okay, now in the form of the question, then what we do there is we have um, all, we start with, we, in this case, we start with the past, sorry, with the auxiliary, which is have or has, again, depending on the subject. Then we use the object, whatever it is that receives the action. We always use been, and then the verb in the past participle form, okay? So um, how we do this, is by basically changing just give me a second so i can i can show you a little bit better Okay, so here, um, in this case, um, let's look at the active right here. In the case of the active, um, the we, what is the subject? It's a, it's a person, it's I, she, he, in the active oh. and, and specifically in this one? Which the thing, the thing is that it, ah, they. Ah, they. Right, okay, so the subject is they, right? But remember, we're not emphasizing the subject. We want to stay away from emphasizing the subject. What we want mm -hmm. to do is emphasize the object. What is the object? The clinic. The clinic. Good. So the first thing we've got to do if we're going to be changing from the active to the passive is we have to be able to identify what is our object. So in this case, we have identified that the object is the clinic. That is why in the passive voice, we're going to start with the active, uh, sort of the um, uh, object, which is the clinic. So in an active voice, the clinic is usually at the towards the end, but in the passive voice, the clinic is at the beginning, not because it's a subject, but because it's the object that receives the action. That's the most important part of the sub of the of the sentence. Okay. So is that, is that clear for everybody so far? So in the active, the object is more towards the end of the of the sentence, and in the passive, the object is at the beginning. So far, so good. Yes, I understand. I don't know the rest. Yes. So far, so good, yeah? Yes, teacher. Important is identify first the object. That's right. The object of the active, because then we are, we are able to easily start with that object in the passive voice. Okay, sounds good. Okay, great. Now, the second part, what we do is we have to change um, the verb. In the case of the active voice, what is the verb? Uh, 
Cannon. Sorry, what was that? Cannon. Okay, not just cleaned. Has been cleaned. Uh, the complete. The complete verb is have cleaned, right? Clean. Yeah. Have cleaned. Oh, in that one. Good. I will. Now, do you notice that have cleaned is the present perfect, yeah. right? So that means that in their past voice, the verb to be is going to be in the past, in the present perfect. Okay, always going to be to be in the past, in the present perfect, which means we're going to be always using have or has been. This is the present perfect of the verb be. Okay, and that's exactly what we have here. Okay, sounds good? Yes, it's right. Okay, now then we have, according to the, we have to put the verb in the past participle. What is the verb that we're going to be concentrating on? The verb we're going to concentrate on in this one is uh, the verb clean, right? So what's the past participle of clean? The past participle of clean is cleaned. Okay, sounds good? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes, it does. Okay, good. And then um, if you want to say who did the action, if you think that it's important to say who did the action, we can add, we can add that information by saying the word by, we can use the word by, and then simply adding the word, the, the, um, the verb in the, in the pronoun, okay? Sorry, the, the, the noun in the pronoun, okay? So by them because they become them. Does that make sense? Does that make sense for everybody? Or did I lose you? Hello? Anybody out there? Hay vida fue allá afuera. <laughs> ah, pues no, no hay vida. <laughs> Maybe because. Pero Natalia, yo respondimos ahí. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to repeat this, the same thing with the second, third, and fourth sentence, okay? I'm going to do this as quickly as possible so you guys are able to understand it. So we said the first thing we got to do, the very first thing we got to do is identify what the, sub, uh, what the object is. Object. Right? Mm -hmm. So in the active, we identify Thomas as a subject, but we mm -hmm. don't care about Thomas. We care about the, 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 ob the object. What is the object? The many object books. Many books. Many books. That's right. Oops, I'm going to change the color. Um, all right, so many books is then going to be at the beginning of my passive voice, which is going to be right here. Okay. After that, we are going to, if you already noticed, uh, we use the uh, present participle of the verb to be, right, which is has written, that's the present perfect. So that's why we're going to be using the present perfect of the verb to be. In this case, we have have been and not has been because books is plural, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, we use the past participle of the verb. What is the past participle of the verb? In this case, um, the past participle, well, we have uh, the verb is right, right? And the past participle of right is written. That's why we use it right here. 
And since in this case, we want we know who did the action, we don't want to emphasize it, but we want to include who did the, ex the exercise. In that case, we're going to put the word by, okay, by Thomas, okay? So Thomas is the one that did the exercise or the, the, the activity of writing. So we say by Thomas, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Um, again, over here, this, these are questions. This is a question. So remember this question, uh, we have to follow this rule here, which is have or has plus object plus been plus the verb. So over here, what is the verb? Sorry, what is the subject? The man. No, the subject. Yes, the subject. The, the police. The police. Right, the pol uh, no, uh, The police, that's right. Okay, so the subject is the police. The, so we, the police is really not important. We don't want to we don't, we don't want to emphasize that. If we're going to add the police, it's gonna be at the end because we really don't wanna emphasize it. What are we emphasizing? The object, right? And what's the object? The man. The man. Right, okay. So that means the object, which is the man, is gonna be emphasized in my, um, in the, my passive voice. Just give me a second that I don't know why I can't see. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay. So the, whoops, hold on, give me a moment. Okay, so over here we have the man is the object. So we're going to start with the man. We're going the 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 thing we want to stress is the man. But remember, in this case, we're going to start with the auxiliary, which is um, which is going to be has, because the man, which is our object, is singular, right? That's why we're going to start with uh, has and not have, OK? Um, so we have has, has the man, OK? All right? And um, after that, we have the verb, uh, the verb to be in the past participle, which is been. We're always going to be using been because been is a complement of has, which is makes the present perfect. And then we use the verb in the, uh, the past participle of the verb. What's the past participle of the verb? The verb is catch. The past participle of the, of the verb catch is caught. Okay. Um, so now in this case, we are not emphasizing, we really don't want to emphasize the police, but we do know who it is and we can mention it if we want to. So we always start using the word by, and then we talk about the person that did the action. Okay. All right. Sounds good so far. Yes. 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 Right, okay, and the same thing goes over here. Um, so this one, what is the subject in this one? The letter. UPS. Right, UPS, right? UPS. Oh, UPS. Yes. Oh, the subject. Is the subject, that's right. But we don't wanna, we don't wanna pay attention to that. So if we wanna add it, we can do it at the end, right? Now, what is the object in the active? The letters. The letters. Right, so the letters is the object. So we're gonna start with um, the, the letters, right? It's going to start the, the passive voice right here. And again, you will have noticed that um, the, uh, the, the verb is in the past, in the present perfect. So that's why we have to use the present perfect of be, which in this case is have been, because letters is plural. That's why we can't say has been. And then after that, we have 
the verb in the past participle. The verb is delivered, right? Okay. Um, and um, that's why we're going to be um, using delivered is the past participle. And since we know who did the action, even though it's not the most important thing, but we do know who did it. So we can say the word by and then the subject, which would be UPS. Okay. Sounds good. Yes. Do you have any questions? Now I understand better than I understood before this. Yeah, I told you it wasn't that complicated. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do then is for homework, and I do need you guys to do it, okay? You're gonna to complete the exercises that we have in the second part of uh, page 36, right? We're gonna be using these verbs, right? And completing these sentences using the passive voice, okay? Any questions? No, no, I don't have. Okay. All right, guys. In that case, that will be all for today. Um, and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow, okay? Uh, do remember, these are the last days of the course. We only have three more days left. That's it. Just um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and, and Thursday, and that's it. So please do not uh, miss any class. Please uh, connect on time, right? And I understand that there could be internet problems. I mean, it happens. I had them too um, tonight. But um, try as much as possible to connect on time, okay? So that's it, uh, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Sure, uh, I'm not going to get attendance, right? Attendance. Oh, sorry. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, quickly. Ana Claudia? Bye. Present teacher. Andres? Present teacher. Claudia? Edgar? Irvin? Present teacher. Heidi? Present teacher. Uh, Irene? Ivan? Jose Montes, Jose Ayala, present teacher, Josue, present teacher, Yuri, present teacher, eh, Luis, Natalia, present teacher, Ronald, Wendy, present. Warner? Present teacher. Great, and Yvonne? Present. Great, okay, OIC, OIC. Okay, so I'll see you guys um, tomorrow. Don't forget to work on the platform. Remember, you have to finish everything by Thursday, so bye na adelantando, okay? Okay. Good night, bye. Good night, night. Do you have any questions, Warner? Not teacher. See you tomorrow. Sorry, teacher. Okay, no worries. I just wanted to know. Okay. Take care. Have a good night. Good night, teacher.